Well, we're well into July now. In fact, it's the third week of July. And this is the time of year for me to, to get down onto the rocks and do a bit, bit of spinning for mackerel or a bit of float fishing. And maybe, you never know, might get lucky and pick up a bass. Now, going by the last several years now, when it comes to the shore fishing marks that I fish, it may be different for others, but the marks that I fish, not kayak fishing, shore fishing, things have not really got going for me for the mackerel and the bass come to that until well into July and then moving into August and then August things start to to really get going where I feel a lot more confident of catching mackerel and it all revolves around the bait fish when you start to get a lot more bait fish moving close to to shore things like sand eels uh, lance uh, white bait and later on in the year, year sprats that of course in turn brings the mackerel in which in turn brings other species in close to shore like the bass so things tend to start to improve when there's a lot more bait fish in in the water and they're starting to it's, it's starting to show the bait fish are starting to show in really good numbers now so fingers crossed I'll um, pick up some mackerel okay so I've got a mix of lures with me mix of metal lures spinners different sizes some are mainly I only use for for mackerel but others that I use for bass and mackerel plus one or two other lures some sand hill pencil lures like that mainly for the bass but they'll also take mackerel now I'm not going to go through every single lure that I've got with me now but what I'll do is as I'm fishing I'll talk about the lures, particularly if I catch something, um, i am obviously talk about the lure that, that caught the fish. But I'm going to start off focusing, fishing with mackerel lures really, focus on the mackerel and, and as I say, if I see signs of bass, then maybe I can up the size of the, of the lure and see if we can catch bass as well. I'm going to start fishing now. Uh, usually I wait a little bit longer at this particular mark, the reason is because I've got rocks right in front of me that are, that are still exposing and therefore it makes it a little bit difficult to, to fish and you've got limited room. But there, there's just enough water for me to, to start. So be, because it's only very shallow over the rocks here and until probably another half an hour, I'm gonna start, start off with this, which is a Savage Gear pencil, fantastic sand imitation. With this one, I don't have to worry about this big rock in front of me here because this lure will work really shallow. I mainly use this for bass, but it will, it will take mackerel as well if there's any mackerel around. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a nice, it's a nice sea coming in for fishing off the rocks. In other words, it's not too, it's not too rough, but there's a little bit of movement, a um, little bit of a swell. So in other, but rather than it being flat calm. So, so we'll, we'll give it a go and see what happens. The camera may not pick it up. You may do, but there's a lot of flags out here. In fact, I don't know if the camera will pick up to one to the left here, which is very, very close to shore. I could, I could cast over it, easily cast over it. But fortunately, they're pots. They're strings of pots, all of these. This is very, very rough ground. At least I hope they're strings of pots, because if this one that's very very close and the other end of it that you probably won't pick the camera won't pick up is even closer it's literally only 15 yards off the rocks if that was a net then it would virtually be stretching across there it would be impossible for me to fish because obviously I'll get just get snagged in the net because there's not a lot of depth here but fortunately it's pots Right, good. I'm, I'm in. Oh, I've got to be careful here because of this uh, rocks in front of me. I, I turned the camera off to save battery because it was pretty dead. Um, so I didn't get the tape, but it is. What is it? Is it a mackerel? Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Well, that, if I can land it, get it in without losing it that 
is my first, that's my first, oh, come here. Oh. That's my first shore caught mackerel this year. Had them on the kayak, but my first shore, shore caught one. And I am so thrilled. I really love it when I get my first mackerel from the shore. And it really, it really spurs me on that, uh, that they're arrived, they're arriving. But not only that, that there might be a, a follow on, a follow on with maybe more bass, more bass showing. Okay, so what I did, now I said I started, that mackerel's been dispatched straight away, by the way. I started with the, the Savage Gear pencil because, because I had uh, limited depth. But uh, now I've got a bit more depth over the, over the rocks that I've got to draw the lure over and, and play a fish over if I catch one. I swapped over to this, which is mainly I mainly use for mackerel. It's the 28 gram Dennett Super Sprat, rigged with a with a 10 inline single hook. Yeah, this this is my longest casting lure that I've got with me. Um, so therefore, I can get it out and I can cover cover much more ground. And in fact, that mackerel took took a, just a few turns really from maximum casting distance fantastic get my as many of you who watch the videos will know that I use these hessian sacks to keep keep the fish cool uh, which are really really convenient uh, there we go That's going to be that's going to be eaten tonight, and my wife Linda's going to be really pleased because it's one of her favourites, mackerel. Pretty decent size as well. What I don't want is those tiny, tiny, tiny ones. Good. Now I really am spurred on now because that's quite early in the session. In fact, usually I would only only start fishing now. When I've got enough cover, water cover on these rocks. For those interested, there, there's the comes with a treble, small treble. Replaced it with, I think these ones, which I've I like now. I think these are the uh, not plugging them at all. Just telling you what what, what I'm using because I know some of you will ask will ask in the comments. It's a cox and rule inline singles, very very sharp. But the other thing to note is that this lure comes with one one split ring and the treble small treble I've added another split ring and what that does it, there's more movement then here so there's less leverage there's less it, it comes from Scan, the Scan, Scandinavian idea with, with their lures for sea trout they always have two split rings it means more movement less the fish less leverage can be created on the lure so less chance of losing a fish although of course no matter what you 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 use treble singles whatever you can still end up losing fish right out as far as i could cast it and then Just a steady retrieve with the occasional pause when I've got when I know I've got the when I know I've got the depth of water to do it. I'm not sure not sure if this is a mackerel or a pollock. Could be a pollock. Yeah, Pollock. Well, 
be a small pollock which is going to go back Get that, get that straight back. This one feels like mackerel. Well, <laughs> is it? Yeah, it is. Unfortunately, I'm getting more and more of a weed, a weed problem now, which really is a pain. Uh, it's getting difficult to get a clean run. Uh, that bit of weed came off, but yeah, never mind. We keep keep going. Sometimes when this happens, you get spells of weed trouble. Almost makes it impossible, and then 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 it then it can clear, and and you you be fine. So it's going to carry on, but it's probably out of ten casts, I'm only getting about four. Oh. Look at the movement on the water there. Oh, it just suddenly went bubbling out there. The surface disturbance. So something was chasing something. Yep, there it is camera probably won't pick it out pick it up but it's quite a, quite a way out oh dear now let's get in quick get in quick and try and uh, just in case it's bass over there Yes. Fant it's fantastic when you see that, when you see that bubbling on the, on the uh, surface. And we'll find out what it is. Yeah, mackerel. It's mackerel, what are Bass chasing the mackerel. You won't see it, but I can see it. There was a bass, oh. That put me, that put me off. There was a bass chasing that mackerel. I made a mistake there. Because I saw that bass, I was, I was watching the bass and I wasn't concentrating on getting the mackerel in and just give it give it a little bit of slack and and off it went well that's the first i've never ever seen that before obviously we know we know live mackerel is a fantastic bait a fantastic bait for for bass but i've never actually seen that when i'm pulling in a mackerel a bass going for it but yeah I mean that was a decent sized mackerel and, and the, the bass just, just goes to show what they go for as regards size because it wasn't a big bass but that was a decent sized mackerel but of course bass have got such huge mouths uh, it probably probably have no trouble no trouble getting hold of that mackerel oh I've got a I've got a mackerel on here and I've got this boat this boat going across 
Um, I've just got to try and get it. Yeah, I think I'm okay. I've, I've got it. I've got it uh, inside the boat, fortunately. Fortunately, we didn't lose that one. Well, I mentioned how those flags that are very close were not, um, was not a net. And uh, that just goes to show that he's pulling his pots, which is good. Because I say, if it, if it had been a net, uh, I wouldn't have been able to fish here. I haven't, I haven't put a big, I've not, I've not put a bigger lure on uh, yet. The, the, the reason is because the mackerel, I'm getting the mackerel at distance. They're taken at distance and I can reach, I can reach them with that lure that I'm using at the moment, the Dennett Super Sprat. Uh, whereas if I put the bigger lures on, I wouldn't be able to reach them. But I've still got, well, I've still got two and I, I've still got two hours or more left of the fishing, so we m I may have a go go for the bass late, but we'll see. I mentioned in the intro there how uh, the marks I fish, shore marks, it's all to do with the food chain. You get the uh, the build up of the bait fish, the small bait fish, the sand eels, uh, the uh, white bait, the lance. Then then of course you get more the, the mackerel come in and then you get the bass now there was a perfect example I see that saw the bubbling on the surface which was the mackerel probably chasing white bait or it could have been sandals hook one of the mackerel bringing it in close in I know you didn't see it but then I saw the bass clear as clear as daylight chasing after the trying to grab hold of the mackerel and that's that's why suddenly the fishing, shore fishing, starts to improve. All to do with the food chain. A reason, a reason for those fish to, to come in here close. Now, <clears throat> this, mac this mackerel, I've mentioned this before. Uh, when I said that you do a retrieve and then the occasional pause, this mackerel took it, took it on one of those pauses. So it took it as the, as the moor was dropping. All of the mackerel that I've hooked so far today have taken at maximum casting distance. That's why I've stuck with this with this one. I've, I'm yet to have one take close in, which of course they will. Sometimes they'll, just like bass, they'll take right at your feet. But no, nearly all of them were out at a distance where I saw the, the bubble, bubbling of the mackerel chasing the, chasing the white bait earlier. So um, I'm glad that I've got a, a metal that, that it gets me out a good distance. Another one that took on the drop because I've got a bit more depth now and I'm, I'm able to I'm able to to let the reel in and then occasionally pause and let it let it drop down. This feels like a decent sized mackerel.
Okay, it's time to give the give the Hessian sack a dip. I mean, it's still wet, but just give it a dip in the uh, cool water. They, these things only cost a few pound, and of course they're so um, so easy to carry in your bag when you're coming fishing. Not so easy to carry home, of course, when you've got to walk, clamber back up the cliff and along the coast path with a bag of fish, but keeps the fish nice and nice and fresh. I was I was just cursing. Uh, one of these speedboats just went straight. I thought it almost went straight across the line, and and uh, managed to get get the right side of the boat and hooked a mackerel. Ah, this feels different. This feels different. It's either a, a deep, good sized mackerel or could it be a bass? Very, very difficult to land the fish here. It's a decent size. What a. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a mackerel, but a nice one. Oh, masses of sand eels. In the water there. Yeah, this is a decent one. Come on. You've got to, you've got to, you've got to keep a tight hold on it. That is a nice mackerel. That is a beauty. That one's going to taste great. That will be full of fantastic oils. Yeah, that was a that was a good fight. That one. It's very very awkward here. Very awkward to land the fish. Uh, you got the rocks in front of you. You got the the swell and the current. And, and the drag is the drag back. You know when you get it when you get a fish close in, and you don't want to give it any slack, and you get that drag back with the current here, uh, and it's inevitable. You you you're going to lose, you're going to lose one or two. It's just it's just the way it is. But fortunately, that was a good one. As I say, really good, really good fight. Okay, what I think I'll do now is because I've because I've got got a fair few mackerel now I'm, I'm happy I'm gonna put a, a bigger lure on and which will still catch the mackerel no problem I can't cast it as far and as I said a lot of the mackerel have been caught at uh, maximum casting distance I can't cast it as far but I just see see if it see if it tempts a bass all right this is the lure that I'm gonna try now it's uh, one of the two biggest ones that I've got in, in, the, in my tackle box on this particular occasion. It's called a Western Soul Peeling, 24 gram. I think it's about 120, 125 mil. We'll, we'll give that a go. As I say, it will still, still definitely, definitely catch mackerel, no problem. But you never know, might get lucky and tempt a bass. It's got a nice action to it, plenty of wobble, plenty of vibration, and uh, we'll see. Well, this is this is a mackerel, but it's on one of the it's on one of the bigger lures. I tried that sole peeling for a while, but I've stuck another one on, which is uh, which will catch bass and mackerel, as you can see. This is the this is a Westin F three sixty.
tip I can give you when you're using you want to use singles on these metals which 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 that most of them most of them come with a treble some net these days come with a choice of a treble or a single so say for example a well-known one you've got the Dexter wedge which comes with a a small treble way too small in my uh, in my opinion for things like bass so the thing to do is if you want to catch it's probably you put a bigger treble on but if you're going to go single go for a go for a decent sized single now for example this Westin F360 you can see the size of it that single there is a 4-0 4-0 single of a good quality sharp hook so yeah normally it depends on the size of the of the metal but put put decent decent size so if i put a single on a dexter wedge what i normally do depending on what i'm going for if it's just mackerel i'll put a 1-0 but if i'm if i'm after bass with it i'll perhaps put put a put a 3-0 or a 4-0 on it and it just helps it just helps keep up you know hook the fish better if you've got a decent decent size single on if you're going to go singles if not stay stay with the trebles well i'm going to call it a day now the fishing's gone right off anyway there's no sign of any ma more mackerel now and had a try for the for the bass but no luck on this this occasion but focus on the bass on another occasion but what a fantastic afternoon it's been really warm sunny weather i'm at, i'm at a absolutely roasting good job i put the sun cream on plenty of sun cream a fantastic sea it's been today a real pleasure to be by the water nice bit of swell bit of chop coming in without being too rough to be on the rocks here and a good bit of current with the spring tide and i'm so pleased to catch my first mackerel shore fishing first mackerel shore fishing of the year doing a bit of spinning and it gives me the confidence now that i know there's mackerel around to come and do a bit more spinning or maybe do some float fishing from the rocks so i'm going to get these fish cleaned up now get home and enjoy enjoy a couple of those tonight so once again i hope you found that useful and many many thanks for watching